Hi, I'm Steven. Uh, I make cool posters for movies and TV shows. And I started doing this with um, friends were asking me, because I live locally at Portland, Oregon, and they wanted street signs. So when I started, I started with the old fashioned like lamp that's all over Portland. And I filled it with streets like Hawthorne, Powell, and that. And then a friend of us did, and then she's like, hey, can you make one of like drinks for me, like martinis? And then I did drinks of all types of drinks, like, you know, brands of martini drinks that she liked and whatnot. And then another friend's like, hey, this might be a little hard and a little geeky, but do you think you can make me a Battlestar Galactica one? I'm like, oh, uh, sure. Like, and then from there, it's like, I posted it, you know, I did a simple silhouette of like one of the ships for the show and dude, he was like, dude, I love it. He posted it on his Facebook and then like his friends sort of reposted my work and then it went from there to like what I have now. But um, you can always find my work at unicoideas.com and I do take custom works and I do make light boxes of all the work I do. Um, how do you make your boxes actually? Uh, the boxes are done locally with another artist. Uh, the boxes are more expensive by far because they're all handmade from scratch to finish. Uh, two pieces of glass, uh, wood, painted in matte black, and then a uh, certified uh, light fixture and then 12, 12, you know, 12, 12 volt uh, light bulb and everything. I see. So the, if anything happens with the light bulbs, they Yeah, can like be these are like, they're even vented in the back too, just to like double double check right. to make sure everything like circulates like properly. That's perfect. Um, what is your inspiration, I guess? Like, you kind of explained how it started, but it's was like, there like a starting point? Like, I did, did it for business up? purposes first, and then like, the connection I got from like other fans, like, you know, like nerds, like, they, they liked my work, because it's like, you can just put like any quotes in there, but only the true fans, like, have their favorite quotes that, like, only fans would know, no, like, the inner thing, like, let's say like my Supernatural, like, fans know, like, only fans say Goot, Moose, and, you know, like, other people, like, they said Moose so much that the other fans, like, directors heard that the fans were saying that, and they put that line into, like, the series, so, so it's like, the little details that I do for all my work that I connected to my fans is what, you know, is what's fun for me, I like, having fun with other fans, like, you know, I've seen all these shows myself, and I make that connection. Absolutely. Um, do you have any upcoming future projects that, you know, um... Like, since the light box are really expensive, and it takes time to make around a week, I really want to start a, uh, Kickstarter someday, I'm not sure when, but I really want to do a Kickstarter, and it's just, like, the whole point of, like, getting someone to record my work, see what I like the story behind of you know, everything I do. But I really want to do a Kickstarter so I can lower the price of these out there so that more fans can have this. Because everyone who has one of these are like, I want more light boxes. Like the main thing of these ideas were like if you have an entertainment room, having a wall lit up of all your favorite movies, like new or old, to walk in and have them lit up. It's what like people love. Like it's fandoms just love it. Can you um when did you when did you start this project? Uh, I started doing my quote posters in November. Before I started making my posters, um, I used to make jewelry. And before that, I used to be a graphic designer. And before that, I used to work behind the scenes for like being an art director or a props master. And like, yeah, life has just brought me to where this is. Oh, wow, that's really great. We really love your work. <laughs> so uh, something fun that happened at uh, Rose City Comic Con was that like, uh, what I wanted like for my work as an artist is to have like the celebrities of that show have my work or pose for my work and I've had some for like Firefly which is like crazy crazy popular but for this one it was about Grimm and so like what happened was like I told some fans I was like hey if you can get like you know line up and have him take a photo of it I'll, you know I'll give you free posters it's not a big deal but you know in return I get like a photo of him holding it and what happened was like they went and got it signed but the managers were like, no, you can't take photos, you know, of the product. So then, like, what happened was they came back with the poster and they told me, and then when they are talking to me about it, there's a staff member who actually organizes it and takes care of everything. And she told me, like, you know, we started talking, then we started networking, and what I told her was, like, like what I heard from other people that came, like, staff were like, he really liked my work and wanted to find out who I was, but couldn't figure out where I was in this, like, creative 
crazy, crazy field of nerds. So what happens is like, we walk over there with my light box, my number one light box that I made specifically for him, and went straight up to the line, and I get and I showed him my light box, and it's like, this is what this was like my end result. There you go. <laughs> So like uh, as an artist who's brand new and like new to this kind of thing, like to know like the actor like loves my work, like it's not about the money for me. It's about I don't know. It's it's more than that. Like fans will know it's not just about the money or it's the connection. Like so to know like a main person from the show loves my work so much that she tells other people he wants to meet me, the artist. Like it's mind-blowingly awesome.